I say about science, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? Microscope, right? One more question. Have you ever used microscope in your school or college? Please raise your hands. Oh my God, excellent. So microscope is the instrument that is used to see the tiny world that we are not able to see with the naked eyes. Most of the time we are taught that microscopes are used to see the bacteria that causes the infection. And while using the microscope, we feel like a scientist. But we miss one of the beautiful things about the microscope. Actually, microscope is the instrument to see the most beautiful signature of the nature. What is that? That is completely separate world called microscopic world even that is more beautiful than your real world. And I hope you could everybody use the microscope in the school and colleges to spark your scientific temperament, to spark your scientific curiosity. Just look at these beautiful images. Have you ever seen this arrangement of the cells in the stem? This beautiful architecture, set of cells called bundle seed, and they are responsible to transport water from stem to uh, root to stem. There is another um, arrangement of these cells in the leaf, bunch of cells called stomata, which opens up, takes the air into the uh, system for the respirations. Have you ever used, uh, seen uh, the cells dividing, chromosomes are separating from each other? It's extremely beautiful. Have you ever seen such kind of a beautiful microbes? And that's nothing but ant head that looks so beautiful under the microscope. But probably we have missed that opportunity in school and colleges to explore that beautiful world under the microscope. What's the reason? Most of the schools were never allowed to operate the microscope independently. Even when I was a student, I was in school, I, I never touched the microscope. Just look under the microscope, that's it. So what are the challenges? What are the limitations with current microscopes? To understand this, probably we have to review the history of the microscope. If you have not read in the schools, probably today is the class that you will learn everything about the microscope history. This is the first microscope designed by the Janssen in 1590. It's called compound microscope. It's a set of two lenses assembled in a tube where you are able to magnify the images. Though he was, he was not able to magnify two very significant magnifications, though, uh, but he takes all the credits to design the first compound microscope. Following to that, uh, Luen Hock, uh, sorry, follow, following to that, Robert Hooke in 1665, who designed his own microscope and explored the beauty of microscopic world, and he published his book called Micrographia. You can see the fleas, you can see the uh, cock cells. He named it as cells for first time, though he didn't know that exactly what it is. And following to that, Luen Hock designed his own microscope using a single lens system, and first time he discovers the bacteria. And though all these microscopes, it has its own challenges, but after that, for 200 years, there's no significant change in designing of the microscope. And that is next microscope by Carl in 1914. And the other one is the microscope that today we are using in 2018. Do you see any significant change in those designing of the microscope? Yes or no? No, no much designing. That's pathetic, it's more than 100 years that we have never thought to design the, redesign the microscope. So, what are the limitations? While using in clinical diagnosis a labor intensive process and requires human expertise, not just to operate the microscope, but for diagnosis. And at present scenario, in India, more than 70% population is poorly connected to the well-equipped labs. And mostly the samples are sent to different geographical area, where we have resources, we have experts, for microscopic investigations. Sometimes we see the people from remote areas, they travel miles just for blood test, for malaria diagnosis, or sputum test for TB diagnosis, or stool test or urine test, that's pathetic. And what happens in education? This is the, this is the normal scene, this is the usual scene in the schools. If you talk about microscope, students are usually clustered around the microscope trying to look at the microscope object and teachers would be there where they set the microscopes. And sometimes it's extremely difficult to convince, to communicate properly, correctly, while showing the microscope objects under the microscope. So to address these challenges, we come up with some new idea. If we're talking about 
In digital era, we are heading towards AI, machine learning, cloud computing to improve the healthcare. And other end, we have basic instrument called microscopes and its most neglected devices or instrument in the lab. We should think on designing of this microscope. With that, my team has worked and we come up with a very interesting design of a microscope. If you look at, there is a tiny microscope is sitting just near the mouse of the computer. And this microscope is not just instrument, it's a very intelligent machine. He knows how to focus, where to focus, where to go, and captures the images of the blood smear. And this is a very interesting device. And while my team was doing the testing, I was capturing the videos, and it is one of my favorite videos. After two years hard work, we came up with a designing. This is called CNC microscope. Essentially, it's an optical microscope, though it looks like a um, video game gadget. It's next generation microscope, probably, I'd like to say, it's world's first portable automated microscope. And it is, it is portable, battery operated. You can carry this microscope to the field. You can capture the images, you can share the images with other devices, with the doctors, in case you need. Also, you can connect the projector for live demonstration so that you can teach to the whole class. So, you can see, we have designed this microscope for school students. You see, we see a different level of curiosity, different level of confidence while operating this microscope. These are the five kids. They are operating without relying on the teachers or experts. And you can see a smiling face. They are so much curious while operating. And you can see this kid is looking at the cells for first time, five years kids. And you can see the different level of curiosity in his face. So it's an education grade, we call it a smart scope. So we can empower this microscope by integrating artificial intelligence and machine learning to make everything diagnose or diagnosis process automated. We have successfully developed an image processing algorithm which scans your blood smear and detects whether you have the malaria is there or not. So we can use this technology in low resource settings where you don't have manpower. And this is under trial. My team is working hard to optimize this algorithm. And also we are working on different infectious diseases. It is not only limiting to the diagnosis. Also, we have customized this microscope for low resource setting. As I told you, the 7% population is poorly connected with the well-equipped labs. We have customized this microscope where you can control this microscope remotely using a cloud platform. It is as simple as if you keep this device in primary healthcare center in remote areas, it can be controlled, it can be, uh, the photos can be imaged and diagnosis can be done uh, on real time by a pathologist sitting in a different geographical area using just computer and the internet connections. We believe that it can create impact in remote areas to improve the healthcare systems. So, yes, the inequality is existing in healthcare if you look at the low income areas and high income areas. And you cannot make it a better world unless until you bring the equality at least in healthcare. If we cannot engage the manpower, at least we can use the technology, we can use the advanced AI systems, we can use the machine learning, you can use the cloud computing to improve the healthcare to bring the inequality. And we believe that our innovation has the potential to create impact and improve the healthcare tomorrow. Thank you for your attention.